Artists and workers of Gridco have threatened to embark on a sit-down strike if all areas owed the company by the Electricity Company of Ghana and other key institutions is not settled by December 4. At a news conference addressed by the leadership, the group threatened to treat all emergency cases as normal within the regulation working hours in a bid to retrieve their debt. Here is a report by Godfrey Turner. The star of Great Coast Transmission Service Charge was reduced by 16% during the 2018 tariff review, which resulted in a dip in revenue to about 290 million cities. The group said as at February 2019, ECG owed Gridco over 598 million cities, Barco 28 million US dollars, and Netco 178 million cities. It is immoral for institutions to owe you such a huge money, sums of money, and your financiers will be chasing you for the service of loans which we keep defaulting at a cost. Grico is undertaking a 330 transmission project from Kumasi to Kitampo to Bolgatanga, and the 161 Volta Achimota Malam line with a loan facility from AFD to the tune of about 173 million US dollars. But the contractor has moved out of sight because Grico is not able to match the counterpart funding as per the terms of the facility. He said Gridco had to go for loans on the international market to finance some of their projects. The group expressed disappointment in the current government for raising the first Esla bond in 2017-2018 and settling VRA debts to the tune of 550 million US dollars with nothing going to Gridco to offset ECG and Varco's indebtedness. It is in the veil of this that we ask government to, as a matter of agency, settle ECG and VALCO debt to GRICO. The staff requested government, as a matter of agency, to settle ECG and VALCO's indebtedness to GRICO or risk detrimental action to power transmission. From Friday, 22nd November, staff will treat all emergencies work as normal work within the normal working hours. From Friday, 29th November 2019, staff are going to march to ECG office and the Ministry of Finance to picket in demand of our money. If by the close of work, Wednesday, December 4th, all these debts are not paid, we will declare a sit-down strike. Chairman of the group, Raphael Kono, said PDS performed better in payment enhancement and schedules when it took over from ECG, but since the reversal of the deal, ECG has gone back to what he described as their old tricks.